I was very briefly, I found myself on the membership team uh, arising out of a conversation I had with Jared. And I said, you know, I've been to uh, each of the meetings and I noticed that there's a lot of new faces at each meeting, which is beautiful. The word is spreading, uh, the community is growing, but I just felt it very important to have a lot, not only new faces, but a lot of the same faces at every meeting. The, I want the core, the foundation of Higher Vibe Life to grow and expand and solidify. Uh, my background is in music and, and particularly drumming. So we all know that in music, the foundation is the drums, the rhythm. So uh, membership and core membership is really, I mean, it is the foundation of, of Higher Vibe Life. And that's not a, a spiel, that's the truth. And this, this foundation, is, this organization is only going to be as strong as the foundation. So I, I feel it's vital, vital, that we see the same people, the same core members at each meeting. And then for there to be more, more and more and more of the same faces. Now, we're going to have new faces coming in and out. You know, even tonight, some people came, checked it out, and then they left. You know, that, that, that's part of the course. We just have to be. So on, on this side of the poster board, uh, I, I, I want, it's important to remember, too, for me to mention the qualities. I, what came through me was just to talk about qualities. Of, of team membership building, okay? Because I actually feel that at some point we're all going to be on the team membership, whether you've chosen to be on it or not, just by virtue of what this organization is about. It lends itself to networking, it lends itself to connecting. So everybody, in my opinion, everybody is, is on the team member, the membership team, because we're out in the world, we're doing things, we're meeting people. So as far as the quality, it's just very briefly, you know limit here, but uh, it's important to have courage because for me, even just making my first round of calls, it brought up, it triggered my fears and my doubts and let out of the chatter, you know, so it, it takes courage and enthusiasm to actually do this. And it's, it's actually, I, I noticed that this could be like a, a self-healing process because I've already been triggered, I'm being triggered now, I'm working to my stuff now as I'm speaking to you, you know. So um, tenacity, consistency, commitment, taking nothing personally, you know. Uh, don't sell the membership like Jared and, you know, talked about. Just be yourself and, and, and attract. You're going to be, if by being yourself and being the brightest light you can possibly be by uh, investing in yourself, you're just going to naturally attract the people who are in resonance, who are going to be in, a, in, a, in a, a spontaneous yes. You really want the spontaneous yes. If it's a, mm, then maybe that person needs to, you know, do their thing and then come when they're ready. You know what I'm saying? So, um, if you find yourself talking to people, be, be sure to converse, not explain, but just converse, okay? And um, Elaine mentioned to listen, really listen to what people are needing, what they're wanting, what their vision is for their own life and their business. And listen and see how the organization can be a complement or a synergy to that, what they're already doing, what they're working on, what they're going through. So, and how does this translate in, into a practical sense of these qualities? How are we going to translate this to? What are we going to do? What action, starting tomorrow, what, is, what are these qualities going to, how is it going to translate into action? So we're thinking of how many calls is it going to take to actually reach one person? Because over the weekend, we were given the task of calling four, each of us. Uh, so about 20 calls were made, but each of us might have spoken to one person. And even then, out of that one person, they may not even have had time to talk at that moment. So we're thinking, well, how many calls is it going to take to, to reach at least half of one meaningful conversation? We can all just have one meaningful conversation with one person about higher vibe life on a daily basis, whether it be virtually or in 3D, I think that would really exponentially grow the core, the foundation, the core members of the, the group of, of, of like-minded people and the same faces. So um, just to tie it up, what, what, what Rico was saying, um, we need to uh, have the idea of having like a higher vibe life tent at, say, like a, a holistic chamber of, of commerce, at the New Life Expo, that kind of thing. But to have our own higher wide life expo is even like that's that's where it's at right there. You know what I'm saying? So one-on-one uh, -on -one communications virtually um, in, in in real life out there in the community is that that's it's going to build it's going to build the core membership one at a time over time, and then the foundation is just going to be massive. This like we have this space here, you know, we're going to have like a a huge mansion, a giant yoga studio, or whatever your 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 concept is of a of a major structure that can hold and be a big container for humanity. That's the kind of structure we're building here, but 
we need a strong foundation. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you.